Matthew 10.35 Eothon gar di kasai anthropon katatu patrasautu, kai thugatera katates metrasautes, kai numfen katates pintarasautes. It's a good reminder of this verse, isn't it, that uh, loyalty, faithfulness to Jesus will sometimes be very costly, relationally, economically, and so on. Jesus said, for I came to divide. I came to divide a man against his father and a daughter against her mother and a bride against her mother-in-law. And obviously in the context, if it's the mother-in-law, we, we can also translate this word numfain as daughter-in-law and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. The word bride, hey, numfe, uh, right? They're just a first declension noun like phone, first declension feminine noun. This word usually, numfe means bride here, uh, the accusative form, of course, but it can also just be translated daughter-in-law within the context. Did you recognize this word, di kasai? Now, you might, you might be able to piece out parts of it that look familiar, but I doubt you knew the word because it occurs one time in the New Testament. Uh, the lexical form is di kazo, to divide, to separate, to put at odds. See that sci ending? This is just an aorist active infinitive. And within the context, it's functioning, isn't it, like a purpose infinitive. Jesus says, for I came, that's the first person singular, second aorist of Erechimai, for I came, and then this gives, this infinitive gives the purpose, doesn't it? For I, I came for the purpose of dividing, right, a man against his father, and so on. So may God give you strength, Christian brother or sister, if you find yourself in a situation where Jesus' words here are proving true in your reality.